Dozens of students walked out of Duke University's commencement ceremony over the weekend to protest guest speaker Jerry Seinfeld over his support of Israel during the war. And I mean, he is he's Jewish, so I would expect that he would support Israel, but you're not allowed to do that, apparently. And um, so I want to play these uh, these students walking out during the middle of Jerry Seinfeld's speech. Watch. Jerry is also serving as our commencement speaker today. Nice little cute little morons taking their moment, carrying their little flag. Now, I would like to point out, so some people are booing. But later on, uh, apparently the, the crowd started chanting Jerry um, and were of course, making more noise than, you know, those booing. And then there were also reports that said that the people who were booing were actually booing the students walking out. So not quite clear who the booing was intended for, but the overwhelming majority of the students, of course, were happy that um, that Jerry Seinfeld had come to uh, to do that. I just like I watch these people on their graduation day and I'm like, Really? And all this time, your parents didn't teach you better? All this time? I actually live in Durham, North Carolina. So I'm right around the corner from Duke University. And I can tell you that this was one moment, because normally we refer to that campus as kind of like Little Moscow. And then across the Interstate 40, <laughs> 10 miles away, we've got UNC Chapel Hill, which we refer to as the People's Republic of Chapel Hill. <laughs> So we've got, you know, this is not just, you know, basketball mecca, college right. basketball mecca. You can come to the same exit on I-40 and take either a right on 15501 and go to Duke or a left and go to UNC. It's They're that close. And, and so watching that, when it happened, first I was like, oh, not, not again. But then all of a sudden, I realized it was only about 30 kids that did that. Yeah, they got booed. Small. Jerry got up there. He was never interrupted once. Nobody chanted him down or, you know, uh, interrupted his his uh, remarks. It was very non ideological. It wasn't political at all. It was it was like it was like a a dad giving funny you know advice to his children is all is what it was, and it came across great. And then, following a little bit closer, I realized that Duke has rules. And there was a reason why there's no encampments mm, there. Mm. There's no Chaz, no Chad. There's no Antifa on that campus. And that's why. They actually have rules against this. Well, that solves it, doesn't what it? What a novel idea, Steve. Yes. Wow. You mean to tell me if they actually set rules for these morons, then they'll actually, you know, think twice before they break them? Shocking. Fancy that. Yeah. I mean, look, this whole thing is because people, these these little people, who clearly haven't been taught how to think for themselves, want to be a part of something bigger. That's what they want. You know, if you take God or meaning out of their lives, they want to be a part of something bigger, and this is it for them. But again, uh, I say this, I think, because we get a lot of these, we get at least one a week of some ridiculous student protest, is that if you're not sending your kids to private Christian colleges, then um, it's on you. It's your fault, mm -hmm. to be honest, right? You know, that's what you've got to do as a parent. Uh, what matters is not just these moments, because I think these moments are windows into the four years that your kid has been at these institutions and the people that they've been around, right? So, yes, they're obeying the rules, but it doesn't mean that, like you said, these like little communists there aren't having an influence on your children. Or, or moving them away from the var the values and morals that you brought them up with. So it's really, really important uh, to send your kids to somewhere where morally they're going to be with their peers, like people that are going to reinforce what they believe. And I'm definitely not saying that Duke is that university because it is not. <laughs> right? I mean, their, their medical school there is leading the nation in lopping children's gentles mm -hmm. off. So this is, I mean, they're starting younger and younger and experimenting there. This is this is maybe little Berlin. Right. Right now. It's not a testimony in favor of sending your kids to Duke. No. Certainly. Um, so on the topic of all of these college campuses and higher education, I came across a headline that said uh, nearly half of all master's degrees are not actually worth getting. 
And so when you look at the, yeah, there it is. So when you look at the, um, it says, what, 23% of bachelor's degrees programs and 43% of master's degrees programs have a negative ROI. So um, why are you sending your children to uh, Duke or, um, you know, Harvard or all of these places, Columbia, we, we've been talking about because the, the protests and the encampments have been so prevalent there. We looked it up, $83,000 a year. $83,000 a year that you're spending for four freaking years. And that's if your kid does well. If you got a kid that's like mm, kind of on the short bus a little bit, you may need to pay another year. And that is all so they can come out and not, not have a positive ROI. And on top of that, be completely indoctrinated into all of this woke ideology. Why? Why would you do it? I understand if it's like a, well, not a doctor that's lopping children's genitals off, but, but a specific, like you have to go through medical school or you have to go to law school. Like you have to go through these things if you want to be a certain profession. I understand. But just the, the run of the mill, you know, English degree or whatever. It's like, why, why you're setting them up for complete failure in life? I feel like at this point. Well, I think on what, multiple levels. Yeah, what we've done is we've kind of taken it that this is the process that you go through. You know, you go to school, you go you get graduate yeah. high school, then you go to college, then you go and get your masters, and then you come out and you've got, if you're lucky, you have two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand dollars of debt, and then that makes it impossible for you to start a family, right? right? And mm -hmm. so. Uh, I mean, I, and I've said this for a long time, is I'm a big advocate for trade schools. Yes. A big adv advocate to go to a technical college and learn how to be a plumber, learn how to be... These these um, trades are being looked down upon, and it's ridiculous. Because like you say, you come out and... Hey, look, look, I went and did a BA in performing arts, right? I, okay, so... But I did make my... I did make a, a, a living out of it, actually, but I am like a very, very small percentage of that. And I have gone off and done a business degree as well because yeah. I'm not stupid. But I think that w we really have to emphasize more the trades mm -hmm. and because, you you know, you can come out, even let, let's just say, even if you went and did, went to film school, let's say you went to film school and uh, you went to NYU and it's, again, it's about $80,000 a year for four years. You come out and they send you to the bottom Right. On a film set, right. you are a runner. Right. You are you're working. So then you have to go through your apprenticeship. It doesn't matter. What you may as well do is take that money, go and make a short film or make a movie, learn mm -hmm. on the job, yeah. and then at least you've got something you can sell. Right. right? Then you've got something tangible. And then go and work through the system anyway. But we've got this, this thing. We have to break this, that you send your kids immediately, they go off to college. Mm -hmm. right? why, why are we doing this? Well, I think that it's breaking itself, honestly. I mean, I agree it needs total implosion, but it, it's, it's breaking itself because everything, the cost of everything is rising. People can barely afford to like pay their mortgages and fill up their gas tanks. And then you want to ask them to pay that amount of money to send their kids to college. It's, it, it's just not going to become feasible anymore because the, the tuition rates are rising every single year. Everything is getting more expensive. N colleges are not immune to that. So then it becomes like, Okay, so I literally can't afford to send my child to your indoctrination camp. It's not even a choice. I just literally can't do it. Um, and I mean, last point, and then I, I want to get you la last word here, Steve. Um, I also have a degree, right? I might use some skills that I had in electives. I don't know, but my degree was in like criminology and um, my minor was um, forensic psychology. Am I using that every day when I run my mouth for a living? No, maybe, maybe a little bit of the forensic, the, the psych, yeah, yeah, yeah. The psychology. Sometimes I'm like, maybe it's helped me read people, but I feel like I have, I just already have, um, a very high intuition anyway. So I think that was why I was interested in that. So I don't use it. And I'm telling my kid, you know, he's 11 and we talk about college and I'm like, I don't actually know that that's going to be your path. It might not be. And that's okay. We can explore other options because I just think that they are breaking the system itself. It's unsustainable. I, I think that I should not get away from here without saying something nice about UNC Chapel <laughs> Hill as well. Did you see this morning? We just learned that they have decided because of what had just took place on their campus with the encampment and all of the protests, they're going to divert and transfer some of their DEI funding over into campus policing. <laughs> really? So 
they're breaking themselves. They, they're pushing. Uh. They're going over the edge so much so that even these far leftist administrators, and of course, follow the money. Yeah. They know they will lose those students. They will lose because the more of these, uh, let's call them conservative, light, uh, you know, frat boys out there that protest against this, you know, type of crap that they were seeing on campus. Well, those parents might send them elsewhere. Yeah. They might send them to Liberty or to Hillsdale. Right, so right, nice. exactly. As well they should. If you like this clip and you want to see the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, come on, you know you do. Click here.